Hello, I'm Darren Alf from BicycleTurningPro.com. I'm in the mountains of Romania today to do a compare and contrast video about two popular lightweight one-man tents, the MSR Hubba and the Big Agnes Copper Spur. So let's take a look at the pack size of both tents really quick. This is the MSR Hubba, which I have been using for the last three years on my bicycle touring expeditions all around the world. That's why it's a little uh, discolored and faded here. But uh, what you'll notice here is that the, the two tents are very similar in size, but there are some major differences in regards to the overall pack size. What you'll see here on the MSR Hubba is that from here down is the actual tent. But this part, extending out of the top of the bag, is the poles, which run all the way down to the bottom here. And I usually pack these two items separately. So I will take the poles, I'll do it now so you can see. Um, I will take the poles out of the tent, like that, and carry them separately um, from the, the actual tent. This part of the tent I will carry in my backpack or my one of my bicycle panniers, and this part I strap to the outside of my backpack or onto the rear rack of my bicycle, simply because the tent poles are so long. So um, that is one major uh, thing to think about, I think, when it comes to the MSR Hubba, is that the, because the poles are a little bit longer, they don't fit very well with the, the uh, overall pack of the tent. The Big Agnes Copper Spur, on the other hand, the poles are about the same length as the pack tent, and therefore everything packs together in this one small compartment. You will notice if you put the MSR Hubba and the Copper Spur next to each other, however, that the Copper Spur is a little bit longer. Um, although this uh, MSR Hubba is probably a little bit thicker, this one's a little narrower. So it's, it's really a draw. So I've got both tents set up. What you see here is the MSR Hubba in the green here in the foreground. And this is the Big Agnes Copper Spur Ultralight tent in the background. Both are one-man tents, both suitable for bike touring, backpacking, hiking, canoe trips, motorcycle tours, etc. Um, I'm going to show you both tents, kind of show you some of their similarities and differences, point them out to you, and I'll tell you what I like and dislike about both tents. So, here we go. Um, the, both tents I'm going to be showing you with the rain fly on and the front door and front zipper open just so you can see uh, what they both look like uh, on the inside, etc. So this is the MSR Hubba. Very basic design. What's cool about this tent is you can flip it around. There is no front, there is no back. Um, so depending on where certain obstacles lie, you can flip the tent around and make it face pretty much in any direction. There's a fair amount of room on the inside, but not a whole lot. Two interior pockets, enough room to store a small amount of gear next to your body, and quite a bit underneath the rain fly, both in the front and the back. There's a small amount of space underneath that rear rain fly. Um, here's the back side. There's not a whole lot to say about the tent. It's pretty simple. Um, and yeah, I think the, the biggest benefit of this tent is one, the color. I like the color. Green, it's awesome for stealth camping if you're into that sort of thing. And also the fact that it flips around and you can point it in any direction really comes in handy in certain situations. Over here is the Big Agnes Copper Spur. And like with the Hubba, I'm showing it here with the rain fly on, the front door open, and um, yeah. One of the, the main differences between the Hubba and the Copper Spur is that this tent, there is a head of the tent. This is the tail, the small end, and this is the head over here, which is much larger, as you can see. Um, that's nice when you're indoors, but I think that could be an issue uh, camping in certain situations. The material on the the uh, Big Agnes tent is much, much lighter and more delicate than on the MSR. I think the MSR, um, if you're looking for something more rugged, that's the one you want to get. This one, I think you're going to have to be very careful about not ripping um, any of the material, both on the rain fly and on the bottom of the tent. Um, so that's something to watch out for. The poles 
on the Big Agnes tent, I think are a little more uh, thinner and more delicate than the MSR Hubba, which is another reason I think this you got to be a little bit more careful um, with this tent. But with all those things being said, one of the nice things about the Big Agnes Copper Spur is the amount of size on the in on the inside. Um, I have my sleeping pad in here, so you can compare it to what you just saw with the MSR Hubba. There is quite a bit more space in here. And not just on the side of the, the tent, but um, over here in the head, it's much wider, gives you a much more roomier feel uh, than you get in the MSR Hubba. Like with the Hubba, there are two interior pockets in the corner. These are up near the head, which is nice, so you can reach them easily while you're sleeping. Um, there are a couple loops up here, as well as some flies that have gotten in. Um, but uh, the loop is in the center, whereas the, on the hubba the loops are only on the side, like here and here. This tent has it on the sides and in the center, which is nice. Um, and like both tents can be set up without the rain fly. You don't necessarily need to put the rain fly on in order to set up the tent. So um, you can, if it's warm out, um, both tents have this mosquito netting that is on the interior of the tent and uh, you can just camp with that mosquito netting which allows a lot of the air to just flow in uh, which is really nice and prevents condensation from building up inside. So that's it. That is the Big Agnes Copper Spur Ultralight. Um, so far I would give this like an 8 out of 10 simply because I'm a, fr a little bit nervous about the delicacy of it, um, as well as the major downside being the fact that um, there is a head and there is a tail, and that means you can only point the, the tent in two directions, basically. This tent, um, I gave a 9 out of 10 for the durability of it, the color, and the fact that you can flip it around in four different directions, basically, meaning that you can face the tent uh, any which way you want and uh, fit in there quite comfortably. Downside here is size, probably, on the interior, it's not a whole lot of size. This tent is much more roomier, so you got to decide what's more important to you. Durability, I think, or size and comfort. That's it. Um, that's the Big Agnes Copper Spur. That's the MSR Hubba. I'm Darren Alf from BicycleTourningPro.com. I'm in Romania right now. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a good day. Bye. So this is the MSR Hubba. It's a one-man backpacking tent. It's the tent that I've been using for the last three years on my bicycle train expeditions in 30 different countries, four different continents, desert, snow, sand, rocks, ice, everything.